Let's begin with Ezekiel chapter 37, the valley of dry bones. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them. And I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, O sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophecy or prophecy to the to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked and tendons and flesh appeared on them and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophecy to the breath, prophecy, son of man, and say to it, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe into these slain, that they may live. So I prophesies, or prophesied uh, as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We were cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says. O oh, my people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from them. I will put my spirit in you and you will live and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and I have done it, declares the Lord. Okay, so just in this first part, there's a lot here. This is Ezekiel once again um, receiving a vision, receiving something that is from the Lord and sh showing and being shown um, what is to come, what is to happen. Now, some Bible scholars and, um, and people, um, uh, preachers and uh, people who uh of the faith believe that this is a description of what will happen um, near the end of times um, and that this is the revival of of all um, when the Lord comes back. Um, so there's a, a point there. It also is, it's showing um, also how the people of Israel are, were because of the law, because of having to follow the law, the law was showing them a reflection of themselves, a reflection of of sin, what it is to sin. If you don't follow the commands, that's a sin. That was, um, and so not loving your neighbor, a coveting, be, um, being all of, you know, everything going against the Ten Commandments, that was showing you what is, what sin, what evil and sin was. And so, um, however... The Lord, our God, is a God of grace and mercy, and that's why he sends his son, and that is why he made a way. So this is, um, this can be also looked at as this is going to happen. Everyone will be brought back, and like he said, they will be, I will put my spirit in you, and you will live, and you will settle in your own land. And so this will be the time of eternity when our new bodies are presented, our new bodies that the Lord has created for us, um, our eternal bodies. And so um, this is something that can many different uh, ways to look at. Um, it's a promise. And, and listen to what he says. And I have done it, declares the Lord. Because to the Lord, the Lord doesn't live in time. The Lord is timeless. 
the Lord is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. So he's already, he knows everything and he's done everything. It's just us that are living to in time. It's just us that are going down these paths that we have. And so uh, looking at this, this is a completed promise. He's letting us know that of the promise. He's he because he's always up front. He oh the Lord our God, he is clear messenger. He lets us know what's going going to happen. He tells us and then he does it and he shows us that he has done it. And so uh, there's so much here, but bringing past to present, we can see that the Lord is faithful. The Lord is true. He is the good shepherd. He only wants the best for us. And he's showing Ezekiel the hope, the hope that he's bringing. He's showing him, look, I'm going to bring my people. I'm rescuing them, freeing them from the uh, bonds of sin, which equals death. And I'm going to bring them back so they can live and live in freedom and live without sin. Amen and hallelujah. Before we go on, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?